Hey, how's it going? I'm Eric Ayala, tattooer. Hopefully you already know that. Hopefully you're already subscribed and you've watched some of my other videos. Um, that's killer if you have. Um, if not, welcome to the channel. Um, this week, we went over to Downtown Tattoo in Las Vegas, Nevada. What's up? Um, <clears throat> I'm actually just getting ready to go over to Downtown Tattoo. One second. Whoop. So, where am I at right now? Well, right now, we're in my tiny house. I live right around the corner from Downtown Tattoo. And I wanted to take this second to show you really quick um, my tiny house, my little community, and just like how, <laughs> how close I am to Downtown Tattoo. Check it out. So I'm gonna have us walk over to downtown. I'll show you real quick how fast it is for me to get there. Whoa. Well, dang, it's bright out here. Get my sunnies on. So here's the community that I live in. So, this is where I live, and I'm going to show you guys right now how close it is to downtown tattoo. Wait, I gotta hit this really squeaky door. All right, check it out. It's only like one block away. Whoa. See, we're right here. That's where I came from. There's downtown tattoo, under construction. And there's my house right there. One of my favorite things about downtown tattoo is just the, the magic that you feel when you walk into that place, man. It's like, you just feel it. All the, all the flash on the walls that are all completely original pieces, they don't even hang up any, any prints or anything like that. Everything is an original, um, mostly painted by all of them. That work there. It's actually pretty insane when you look at it and when you realize the amount of work that went into just how the shop looks and the designs that you can pick from. I mean, if you can't find anything on the walls, you probably shouldn't be getting tattooed. You know? Come on back. Very fitting. Yeah, right? Nice. I thought you would. That's why I picked that one because like, oh, you'll probably like it. For sure. So Mitch Adams just hit me up and says hello. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Drake also says hello. I love, I love both those dudes. <laughs> That's good. Your How's Drake doing? Did you get tattooed by him? Yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of work. This, this. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Lots of stuff. This, this, yeah. this, this. Dang, <laughs> yeah. He did a lot for me. Yeah, he's incredible. Dude. Yeah. I love that dude. He, uh, he recommended you. Drake did? Yeah. So oh, wow. Mitch. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. So in tattooing, and I would say probably more specifically in traditional tattooing, there are people who consider themselves tattoo collectors. And what tattoo collectors do is they go around, um, sometimes they travel or sometimes when people like myself go travel to different locations, they um, book in with different tattooers to sort of collect a tattoo from them. Yeah, down here on the lower rift. It works really well in traditional tattooing because a lot of what we do in traditional is mostly piecework. So you can get uh, pieces from a lot of different artists from that have like different styles within traditional that you like and you can piece together a sleeve that way or just kind of get your entire body tattooed by a bunch of different people and it's kind of a neat look. 
For uh, for what? For who? Oh, sick! You're going. How much is that? Three hundred? Like one forty ticket. Damn, that's cheap. Is it? No, I don't know. <laughs> Right. You happy? I'm so happy. Awesome. So sweet. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna go look at it in the mirror. Yeah, check it out in the mirror. Tight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have such respect for each and every one of the people that work at Downtown Tattoo. They're all characters with their different personalities. You got Buddy Holiday who taught me how to tattoo. He's a machine, man. He, he tattoos all day long and then paints all day. He'll sit there, do his appointments, and between appointments, he'll get up from his tattoo and sit down and immediately start painting. You got Ryan Phillips. He's a professor, man. He knows where to find any design that you want. You're like, hey man, um, What's that design with this and this on it? Um, I think I saw like a picture of it, like just uh, just a stencil of it, and he'll know it immediately. He'll know what what design, where to find that book, and he just does killer tattoos. You got Charles, he's British, <laughs> he's a goofball. <laughs> Proud of yourself. <laughs> he does some of the cleanest tattoos I've ever seen. Then there's Amanda, who uh, doesn't like being filmed. That's how, she, that's how Amanda got into my video. Um, incredible tattoo artist. I was definitely pushing for her to come work with us at downtown uh, when we had an open spot. And I'm glad she came and she's just excelled incredibly since uh, working at downtown. Then you got Jay. Jay runs marathons like every weekend and does sweet tattoos and he's a sweet dude and he's super genuine and he's super nice. He's so nice that you almost feel like it's fake. <laughs> then you got Jake. Jake's the newest one to, to join the downtown crew. He actually took my spot when I left he is an insane goofball. Um, he's grown a lot since working at Downtown Tattoo. His tattoos are just getting nicer and nicer. Um, and I really, really like that dude. So I highly recommend you go get tattooed at Downtown Tattoo by any of them that work there. They're all insanely good and great human beings. They put a lot of effort into their tattoos and their studying and their paintings. And I think that's something that should be rewarded. Um, so go get tattooed by him. So I'd like to make sure that the skin is nice and tender before I start. <laughs> that last one got me. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. Tight. Something I hear a lot from people when they're getting tattooed is they want to make sure that they're getting tattoos with a lot of meaning. And while that's really great and it's awesome if you can find something uh, to get tattooed that has a lot of meaning for you, a lot of times people get lost in trying to put a lot of words in their tattoos um, and then also just trying to find possibly an image they like and then trying to attach some sort of meaning to that image. So a really great idea for a tattoo that could have meaning and also be an image that's really cool and pretty cute is getting your pet tattooed on you. I love doing tattoos of pets on people because they'll send me like a million photos of their pet and they're all these super cute photos. Um, because they have all these photos, they can't decide which one they like the best. So I get to see a bunch of pictures of cute pets. And pets are really fun to tattoo because 
they work well in a traditional tattoo style. Cutie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, huge thanks to Downtown Tattoo and Buddy Holiday um, for letting me come and do some tattoos with you guys and just letting uh, some of that magic rub off on me. Huge thanks to Buddy, man. Thank you for teaching me how to tattoo. Thank you for giving me everything, man. Um, I'm eternally grateful. Everyone else, again, thank you for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you have any suggestions of how I can do better, I will welcome them. Go get tattooed at Downtown Tattoo. If you would like to know where I'm going to be tattooing next, I typically post that on my Instagram and I have a link to my Instagram below. Also, if you would uh, like to set up an appointment, please shoot me an email. Also, my email is below. Um, check out all the Instagrams I've linked. I've linked uh, Downtown Tattoo, all the tattooers that work there. They're all incredible. Go check out their work, give them all a follow. Um, book appointments with them because everybody always goes to Vegas. So get tattooed while you're there. Have fun, love you guys. See you next time.